My name is Rosie Perez. I use she, her pronouns, and I'm a faculty member in the Center for the Study of Higher and Post-Secondary Education. So my interest in the field of higher education really started based on my experiences as an undergraduate. And I was not sure that I wanted to pursue my original career plan, which was to be in the field of medicine. And with the encouragement of some mentors, I began my career in student affairs. While I was a master's student, I really fell in love with higher education practice. The opportunity to work really directly with college students to inform their experiences, to help them learn, grow, and develop and to achieve their goals was um, really life-changing for me. That experience then informed my desire to become a faculty member long-term in that you know, my faculty really saw my interest in uh, inquiry and the kinds of questions I was asking, and I didn't see myself as somebody who wanted to do research. I saw myself as somebody who was really good at working with people, and they helped me realize that those things didn't have to be separate that my skills in teaching, in facilitation, in asking good questions were equally as important in engaging in research as they were in practice. And that kind of launched me towards a, a career in higher education. My interest in graduate education as a field of study really started based on my experiences working full-time in student affairs. So my dissertation really began as a study of trying to understand what people learn in graduate school and how that informs their experiences when they go to work. My faculty career began at Iowa State University, which has a large STEM graduate training area. And I was really interested in what students learned about equity, diversity, and inclusion in graduate education broadly. And in turn, how do faculty and administrators shape educational environments in grad ed to support students' learning, students' development, and their career trajectories, particularly for students who are minoritized or underrepresented in their field of study. So across my research agenda, I'm really focused on the so what. I want us to take what I discover through inquiry and translate that into practice. So I do my best to work alongside practitioners, faculty members to think through how do we take action based on what we learn through research.